Is there a particular couple of favorite actresses you work with that you and, and what makes one a favorite? Like what why, what makes you enjoy working with mm -hmm. one more than the other? Um, I mean, you know, chemistry. Yep. Uh, uh, enthusiasm. She, you know, she likes doing it, and right. you know, you reciprocate shit. Sure. Uh, an attitude. Okay. You know, okay. attitude is yeah. everything. I mean, that just the more the more like the the more they take away any stress, you know. Any pressure, the better it's gonna be. Is there some particular ones you work with that you like? Yeah, yeah, Heather Hunter. Was probably, I remember her, man. Yeah, I love Heather. Wow, Heather, you went old school in that one. Almost I mean, school. you know, yeah, yeah. she, you know, because she's still, she's still relevant. You know what I mean? She's still going strong. Oh, is she? Hmm? Not, not in. She's a photographer now, something like that, right? Photographer, artist, right? Right. She used right. to do. She used to give me like little sculptures and shit that she would make. Really nice, yeah, yeah, yeah. nice, nice, she's nice. She's very artistic. So okay, Heather yeah. Hunter. Yeah, I remember her. I remember, and she yeah. know how to, you know. So yeah, did, yeah. So. Her, just her. I mean, I got, I got a couple of them. Come on now. Uh, afraid? Uh, Heather Hunter, <laughs> girl by the name of Charmaine Star. She's a little right. Filipino girl. She ain't okay. around. She's okay. traveling the world now. She's like a B actress. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, uh, a Midori. I mean, okay. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Love Midori. Midori. Yeah. I just re rediscovered her on IG. So okay, that's okay. been dope. That's been dope to see. Okay. Uh, wow. Sophie D. You know, no, Sophie, no, no, Sophie no, no, D's no. a little white girl from England. She's. She's all about her business. Got really? like 12 million followers. Damn. Focused. She's nice. Focused. I love that shit. Nice, nice, um, nice. You know, I just like real cool people. How, how Roxy many? Roxy Reynolds. Roxy Reynolds? Okay, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I have a couple of questions on Did the couple. You fuck all? I know. <laughs> no, 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 not that. I didn't get to her. Um, but what I was going to say is how many scenes can you, have you ever done? What's the most scenes you ever done in one day? Uh, in the day, the most I did and I got paid for, I think I did like five. Wow! Did you bust every time? Yeah. What? By the last one though, it was more like, like poof of air. Right, 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 right. <laughs> somebody got to throw some mayonnaise over your shoulder. Take this. Take this. I mean, like, for real, I did. Right, I did right, come. Right, for real, right. I did. Right. Wow. I feel like a cat. Wow. Um, let me. Ask. Could could you be in a relationship with a porn star? Like I, a real relationship? Yeah, I was. For, you was for a minute. Yeah. What's a minute? A year? Five years? Ten years? Uh, in porn years, I feel like a long time. What the hell does that mean? In porn, in porn years, years, you know. So, so, how, so no. Okay. So, but what's 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 the, the time? You said like how long? A year? Two years? Uh, I think what, what, with porn her, years. With this what is porn one, years? Yeah, with this girl. Mm, I think it was almost almost a year, but it was rough. It was rough. I didn't want to see her fucking nobody. That's what I'm gonna ask she you. She didn't want to see me fucking nobody. So there's really there's still that in emotion like that. Yeah, that? it's yeah. kind of fucked up. It, it shouldn't be like that, but you <laughs> right, know, right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now we got our feel. Once you got the feelings in, you know, a lot of times porn people try to show up and try to have their feelings in check. Right. Some cats just put them out there, and don't give a fuck. Right. Uh, but then for to get the job, I know there's a lot of dudes on here that just kind of like, I think they just got to be assholes because they just don't seem to like, you know, appreciate or right. connect in any kind of way with her right do, do you have a problem with or have you ever like, like somebody bring their boyfriend or their husband or some shit you know mm -hmm. has that happened like mm -hmm. on the set and the dude you know i'd be like <laughs> i don't know if you want to watch this bro right <laughs> I don't think it's, i'm about the dog i'm about the dog i don't nigga think down. you want to be around for this right man. so but, but but you have and then you know just like and, and you're like you know, your wife good looking out dog <laughs> I, had, I had this one girl she, she yeah i had this one girl she was funny because uh she wasn't supposed to be making movies and you know it was the last scene of the day and uh, she was, and I guess she had, I guess she had told him that she was only doing makeup or something. Okay. Oh wow. So we had, we had, she was like, we had just wrapped the scene, and homeboy comes knocking on the door, and she's like, she's scrambling. The camera guys all, you know, trying to clean up the spot, and I'm sitting there like, oh, right. <laughs> and I actually peeked through the door, <laughs> so uh, I'd be like, what's up? Uh, yeah. Is she in <laughs> oh yeah, she coming. She yeah, coming. yeah, she, she coming. coming to say, yeah, I just came. <laughs> Um, yeah, like, like I said, you know, I, I've been on sets and it's, it, it, it's just interesting, man. It's just like, you know, sometimes I see some of the young girls act like they don't want to be there. You True. know what I'm saying? Like, bitch, what yeah. are you doing here? Well, no, nah, there's, here? there's plenty, there's plenty of, uh, uh, you know, there are, there are people who this is business is not for them. Right. You know, and, and they usually have to find that out the hard way.
<laughs> no um, pun intended. Right, right, <laughs> right, right. Uh, you know, uh, there's been situations where somebody's uncomfortable or they break down in tears or right. they just they just say, I, I, they got to stop in the middle of it. And usually if you're running around, you know, uh, people, who, you know, who uh, respect that, right? you know, just shut it down. Do, do you feel like you have to be like a... I ain't this, I don't know where a big brother pimp or something to some of these young girls like oh, it's gonna be all right girl it's gonna be probably, yeah I'm probably, kind of I'd probably do it more now you know when I was younger you know I was just my dick was you know out right and I was just gave two fucks but you're here <laughs> you know I was saying? like you know I would try to you know I was all about like let you know you're gonna like it we're gonna like it right this is gonna be good you'll be all right you'll right be, but as I got older and I started seeing different things you know if you found somebody, usually I catch them before they even get into the business. People come to me now, ask me for all kind of insight, information, guidance, whatever. And I kind of figure in social media has, has changed things. Uh, most girls are, you know, we get a lot of girls who are camming. So they're they're pretty much already kind of conditioned. They have a work ethic. That's, sure. You know, they're comfortable in front of the camera. They're creative. They like to they, they like to perform for the camera. Sure. And those girls do really well in the industry because then they can just kind of dictate the kind of content they want to create. Right. Um, and then there's girls who are just you know probably just trying to. It's just a moment. They just feel right. like they just feel like this is what they want to do at the right. moment. Let me ask you now. I, I, I'm friends with a couple of people like Ron's with uh, Jack Shepard. Uh, no, Jack. Uh, uh, oh, Jack. Uh, a uh, camera dude, right? No, Jack. No, no, um, Jack Slayer. Or? No, that's Justin Slayer. Ja um, God damn it, I, I could be mad. Okay, um, but a, but a, but a couple of people. Why is Jake that? Steed, oh, Jake yeah, Steed. Jake. I was, yeah, I was from Jake Steed and people, stuff. He, people always ask me where Jake. I know he in Brazil somewhere hiding and shit. Right. Um, that's my nigga, but, but he looked me good looking at Jake, you know, a couple <laughs> times. Um, <laughs> um, um, Jack Napier, Jack Napier. Oh yeah, 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 yeah Jack, Jack Napier. Yeah, yeah. From with him. DJ. So yeah, so I talked to Jack, uh, Jake Steed, and he because he produced some of his own, you know, um, freak flows and holes, whatever. And I was like, how you get these guys? You know, I got they get the girls. He said, no, it's a little rougher than you think. It ain't as easy as you think. You know, you just see me with a lot of women, but I got to ask some girls that been in it. They got friends and so forth yeah, to get yeah. a fine. So, you know, have, have you produced produced some? Like, yeah, yeah, I, I did uh, Mr. Mark's Neighborhood. Okay. Uh, Vivid. Okay. Um, and then I would, I, I was, you know, freelance. My my office was next to my agent's office. Okay. So we would, girls would always come in and see him. Right. And then I would sometimes, I would just be like, yo, you know, if you're right. looking for work, it can be here, right? Right, it can be here. Now, now, he, now, I was told. Now, this, I don't know how many years ago this was, but some girls would get between like seven fifty and a thousand a scene. Is mm -hmm. that about right? Back in the day, it's always or? been. It's always been, you know, at least a thousand up. If you if you're paying cash and you're in and out, you know, seven fifty, eight hundred. Really? You know what I mean? Uh, depends though. I don't know. Right. I don't know. But there's way more agents in the industry now. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. When I started, it was maybe two or three. Now there's probably like 15, 20. So it's more, a little more regulated. I had, a, I had a friend of mine, my best friend, rest in peace. He tried to do a poem one time. It was called Straight Up the Pipe. And he had, he, you know, he lived with his girlfriend, you know, quasi girlfriend. And he had to use my telephone number. You know, they had to call. And I remember, um, they called me and said they weren't gonna pay him his check because his age test that he gave them was not like right away, you know, like, like three months earlier. Right, they said, hold right. up, it's three months earlier. Right, right. You better go take one now. And um, he had to go take it and they gave him $200. I was like, oh, damn, nigga. And he fucked like, <laughs> Vanessa Del Rio oh. uh, in the movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah $200. I said, $200, nigga. <laughs> you put it. And, look, and look, it's so funny. I, I watched the movie out of love. It's my homie Vanessa, shit. Vanessa. But that nigga shit was not ready for the show. His shit was like a wet noodle. <laughs> I was like, nigga, you horrible yeah, on that it's motherfucker. Fucked up. It's fucked up when they don't like, you know, the cameraman's over your shoulder. Yeah, and you're, right, like, right. you're like, just give me a minute. Right, right. Just give me a minute. Right, right, give me right. a minute. He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm right. Like, yeah, yo, turn the cameras off, bro. Give me, you know, let me yeah, leave yeah. the room for a minute. Yeah, something. yeah. Let me get in the, let me do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah that, it's fucked that, up. That, yeah, that's it's fucked up. They don't let you get it right, right. If you like that clip, hit the subscribe button or the notification bell. In fact, why don't you hit both of them?